Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Wood Lake, located in Yellow Medicine County, Minnesota, on September 23rd, 1862. After the Battle of Fort Ridgely, the fighting had receded as Chief Little Crow led his people to the Yellow Medicine Agency in Yellow Medicine County. There he met up with another tribe, the Santee Sioux, and while he was there, he was approached by Colonel Henry Hastings Sibley of the U.S. Cavalry. Sibley demanded Chief Little Crow to surrender, while Little Crow attempted to explain the reason for the fighting in the first place. Sibley ignored the reasoning and demanded Chief Little Crow to surrender again, ignoring Chief Little Crow's suggestion at a possible prisoner exchange. The talks subsequently ended and Chief Little Crow and his people moved on. The results of the talks, though, had split the Santee up into groups that supported Little Crow in his fight and those who just wanted peace. Hostilities resumed on September 19, 1862, when Colonel Sibley set out with 1,600 men, including 270 Civil War veterans who had been captured by the South and paroled. This meant they agreed not to fight the Confederates again in the future, which is why they were on the Western Front. Sibley headed up the Minnesota River and eventually found a Sioux. 700 Sioux had decided to fight the oncoming Union Army and set a trap up to ambush Sibley. The remaining Sioux had refused to fight, not wanting a war with the U.S. Army. This ambush was unsuccessful, though, when a group of Union soldiers out foraging for food had discovered them. The Army utilized their six-pound artillery pieces and charged a Sioux near Wood Lake on September 23rd. Several first-hand accounts of the Battle of Wood Lake and its aftermath have survived. One of those was provided by Jerome Big Eagle a Dakota who led fighters into the battle against Sibley's forces. Jerome Big Eagle is quoted as saying, We expected to throw the whole white force into confusion by a sudden unexpected attack. I think this was a good plan of battle. Our concealed men would not have been discovered. The grass was tall, and a place by the road in a ravine were good hiding places. The morning came, and an accident spoiled our plans. For some reason, Sibley did not move early as we expected. It seemed a considerable time after sunup when four or five wagons with a number of soldiers started out from the camp in the direction of the old Yellow Medicine Agency. They came on over the prairie, right where part of our line was. Some of the wagons were not on the road, and if they kept straight on, they would have driven right over our men where they lay in the grass. At last, they came so close that our men had to rise up and fire. This brought on the fight, of course, but not according to the way we had planned it. Little Crow saw it and felt very badly. It should be known that Little Crow and about 200 of his soldiers and their families escaped into North Dakota. In what would mark just another chapter in a soon-to-become long list of atrocities against First Nation peoples, Sibley rounded up 2,000 Dakota Sioux, the vast majority of which had not participated. Some had surrendered, but most had refused to fight the army. Sibley wanted to make a clear example, set up a military commission overseeing these prisoners, and decided to hang 307 native people. Before he could succeed at it, though, Lincoln intervened. He lowered that number to 38. It would later be discovered that at least three of those 38 were innocent to begin with. In addition, Congress canceled all treaties with the Dakotas, including all payments so they would not be able to feed themselves, and ordered them out of Minnesota. Meanwhile, Sibley was promoted for this terrible act to Brigadier General and head of the military district in Minnesota. Final casualties were 25 Dakota killed and wounded, with another 38 executed later, while the Union suffered 41 casualties, including 7 killed and 34 wounded. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.